Jake here with Lake X Lures. We have an exciting announcement to, uh, to let you guys know about. We've been working on a couple different baits this year and we're ready to release one of the two. Um, we saw a lot of pictures where we were coloring with crayons on Facebook, social media, Instagram. Um, this is one of the baits that we were that we were coloring out during the season. So the new bait that we're introducing right now is the Little Bastard. Just to give you an idea, this bait is three and a quarter inches long. It's 1.3 ounces. And we're rigging it with two odd BMCs. We, we designed this bait for bass primarily but it's turned out to be a great multi-species bait and we fished it for muskies and had really excellent results with the thing. A um, lot, of, lot of fish, a lot of big bass on the bait. You know, when they hit, when the bass hit this bait, they're, they're absolutely trying to destroy it. A muskie comes up on it and he just sucks it down or just kind of nips the thing. It's, it's not a big meal for him but they can't stay away from it. That was the cool thing that uh, that I saw and a lot of the guys that threw the baits saw. So Yeah, I think we were actually pretty pleasantly surprised how the muskies actually did go after it, you know, pike, uh, you know, lots of bass, but the muskie action that we had on it instantly was very exciting. It was, it was, and you know, we had to, we had to do a couple different things to fish the bait. Um, you know, we needed a smaller leader. This is, you know, a lot of you guys are familiar with Dr. Evil, Fat Bastard, Cannonball Junior, Cannonball. This is a lot smaller bait. Now we did fish it. Um, we did fish it with 50 to 80 pound test line. Um, we used. What we did was we downsized our leaders. We made, you know, basically made. About a five inch leader, 105 pound test, straight wire is what we used and put a snap on it, no ball bearing swivel or anything to add extra weight to pull the bait down. Because they are weighted to ride low in the water just like all the rest of the baits that we make. Um, rod size, I, I like to use, um, you know, for bass, for the bass guys, they like a, a frogging rod or a punch rod. if. For your bass guys, uh, musky guys, I used a 710 Bass X rod, extra heavy. I used uh, also in the musky series. I used my Legend Elite 86 medium heavy. Jake, I used a 710 extra heavy crossover series from Elk River, and uh, I actually was using an 810 medium heavy uh, musky rod from Elk River too. And don't. You don't need to shy away from using your bigger rods. Uh, it's just a little bit of fine tuning, figure out how you're going to run the line. When that bait's coming through the water, you want that line out of the water with your bigger stuff. Yep, and, and very important, like what Jake said too, to keep your line, lift your line out of the water, always point the rod at, at your top water, at your bait, so you get that full hook set when that fish does strike. Another job. 
with the little bastard. Um, it it also has the you know the stainless steel tail. It is tunable. You can change the sound of this bait, different tones, different situations. You know, um, last year, last summer with the muskies, they they didn't want all the vibration. They they wanted more of a closed tail where it gave a little deeper thump to it. And it's micro adjustments. We're not bending the heck out of it. It's a little bit of movement. Just and you can hear a little different tone to the bait. Um, that seemed to really kick it in gear on the muskies last year. Yeah, and it's very like John said. It's very minute. You don't have to do very much to change it. It'll speed it up. It'll slow it down depending on which way you bend it in or out. And uh, I think the other thing that we found when we first got going with it was the different sounds that it makes compared to anything else we've ever thrown. It was crazy listening to that thing in the tank to start out with. It, it, was, it was. And um, you notice we, we don't have any shrink tube on the bait. Um, this little guy, I can't believe the sound that comes out of this thing. It's really, it's really trashy. It's pretty exciting. So it drives them absolutely bonkers. They cannot stay away from it. If you want more vibration, you open up the tail slightly. Um, they're, they're, they're rock solid. The other thing is, they're super durable. Here's a blank, just to give you guys a little sample. Pretty solid. That baby didn't break. I'll hit her again for you. That's our new lure tester, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, for do, holy oh, crap. I got it. Hit the net, hit the net. Alright. Alright. Watch out, open the, the net. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's how you get him to jump there. Oh, that's nice. There you go. Mama. Like this fish came from 10 feet away to eat that bait. Man. Got him, Jake?